That was avant-garde music to let you know that this is an avant-garde show with avant-garde people from New York. And it's a game show where celebrities compete to title Kastabi paintings for cash awards. And tonight's contestants are, uh, here's a guy who has won 53 Grammys, Bela Fleck. <laughs> That's more than that. Is it really more than that? Or oh, let's lots get, more than that, yeah, sure. Yeah, because there's debate. How, how, but, just let's get serious for a minute. Yes. Because we are avant-garde serious people. How many Grammys have you actually won? Uh, about um, uh, 4 million and oh. 75. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's not cooperating. I've read on the internet 11, elsewhere 18. It's somewhere in between probably. Right? Yeah. Okay, it's a mystery. But, and also in more categories than anyone else has done them in. Yeah. 4 million. What, 4 million? <laughs> All right. All right, great musician, great banjo player, and, and uh, we not, will have him. Not very funny. Not very funny. No, no, he's very Immensely funny. modest. He's genius, and he's great at titling paintings. And then we have si we have this great singer-songwriter, Abby Washburn. <laughs> and then it's not, it's not over. We also have genius art critic, curator, uh, art writer, Carla McCormick. <laughs> And we have an urgent need to title a lot of paintings. So let's start with this one. Do e any of our three luminaries have a title to propose for this painting, which deals with uh, vacation and oranges? And, yeah, I would say call it, what? Why Aren't You Looking? Oh, right. Uh, any other titles to propose from Abby Washburn, perhaps, or Carla McCormick? Carla, you got one? I'll try one. Sometimes it's good to miss the boat. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Okay, Abby, can you yeah. top that? Um, am I allowed to say why? What? Yeah, well, yeah, explain. Uh, the fruit is inspiring me to think of tangerines, so I was thinking of tangential reasoning. Tangential reasoning. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. All right. Can I buy "Why Aren't You Looking" by Bela Fleck? Can I buy that for twenty dollars? Vote, please. Raise your paddle. Green means you like it. Red means you don't. Back row people are not voting. Okay. Abby, your title again was? Tangential reasoning. Tangential reasoning. Can I buy that for $20? Quite possibly. And Carlo, yours was? Sometimes it's good to miss the boat. Sometimes it's good to miss the boat. Is that worth $20? Oh, shoot. Ooh, this is close. I think Abby got it. I think so. <gasps> Abby Wor Washburn, $20 for Abby Washburn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. hey, hey, hey. Uh, Tell this one, see this painting here? It is a little painting of... Uh, That's a great one, Mark. Yeah, it's a great one. It's a woman touching a mirror I with a still one. life in the foreground. Yes, Carla, your title is? The Scrutiny of Self-Reflection. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Abby. Um, are you looking at my butt, too? <laughs> <laughs> and Bela. Hand job. Like Hand job by <laughs> Bela Flat. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> They seem to like that one. Can I buy a hand job by Bela Fleck for twenty dollars? Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Thank you. Okay. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Okay. I see I'm gonna have to get lowbrow to compete with these folks. All right. So now so I know what to do. There we go. <laughs> this one is a little painting that deals with vanity and the price of vanity. Look at her buying a mirror so she can admire herself. Right? And someone else is flipping the bill. Okay, any titles to propose for this ode to vanity? Well, I, I can't compete with hand job, but... <laughs> but for this one... To it, try to keep, you know, well, some yeah, level but up. Everybody <laughs> loved it. I know, it's so You good. know why? It's, it, it is a kind of a, a, a... It worked on many levels. It, it worked on many levels, yeah. <laughs> If that wasn't the image, it wouldn't have worked. No, exactly. Otherwise, it would have been juvenile if, exactly. if it was too obvious. No, no, but it no. was. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> it turned a juvenile title into a profound title. I'd say title. that was a Grammy Award winning title. <laughs> Everybody else thought yeah, so, yeah, too. Yeah. All right, so Carla, what should we title this? Or Abby, or Bela, since you're an expert at this. Well, they're thinking I have one. Okay, what is it? Echo and Narcissus. Beautiful, love it. Abby, do you. Oh. Should I vote on that? Really Can I buy it? <laughs> Echo and Narcissus by Carla McCormick. Forty dollars. Yes, Carla. Okay. Thank you. All right.
This one deals with Guns N' Roses down yeah, near yeah, the yeah, bottom. Yeah. It's autobiographical. And it is a woman drying herself off. Any titles to propose? Bela Fleck, Abby mm -hmm. Washburn, Carla McCormick. Armed and Dangerous. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Nice, yes. Carla's on a roll, but Abby is here. Great singer, <laughs> songwriter. Means you work with words. Means you can title this. November Rain. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh there we go. Good. That's good, because you're, you're seeing water in the picture. Bela Fleck. Hand job two. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let me try. Let's try. Okay, you said November Rain, right? I did. Can I buy November Rain by Abby Washburn for twenty dollars? Possibly, Carlo. Your title was Armed and Dangerous. Armed and Dangerous. That's about a tie, yeah, and... She wins. I think she wins again. She keeps edging me out. Did she, she win? <laughs> okay, what was it again? Oh, what about mine? Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Get that gong right. ready. Get the gong ready. <laughs> Hand ready. job Let's two by Bela Fleck. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> It seems like the girl's getting paid less. <laughs> oh, I think we got unanimous ones. But yes, that is kind of like the way it should work, isn't it? <laughs> I guess it's the way it, way Here, it works. Here is a woman in a Dalinian landscape choosing to read a, a book made out of a dead tree instead of the politically correct iPhone. Oh, yeah. I've made out of a dead Chinaman. I got one. What is it? Because of, you know, all that brightness behind her, I call it light reading. <laughs> Even though she's probably reading some deep philosophical work. Abby? Cellular deconstruction. Interesting. Okay. I like it. Bela? The cookbook. The cookbook? <laughs> That's interesting. You're <laughs> That gives it a commercial edge, right? Cooking shows sell the best. Are we there yet, Lisa? Well, hold on. How about some, uh, get, get these experts to analyze it. Jeez. Oh, analyze it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All they're doing is Sorry. telling us our titles aren't good enough. Help Can you here. analyze this picture, please? <laughs> what do you see in this picture? Help them. They, they're, they're stuck. What do you think? I see a woman lost in media. That's oh. the title, Lost in that's a good title. Lost in media. She just Lost in media. Can I buy it? Lost in media for twenty dollars. Yes. Twenty dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. First music history question: Which female singer inspired Young this Ray. image? Who? That's correct. Lana Del Rey, $20. Okay. Wow. All right. Wow. You know, it's based on a photograph of Lana Del Rey. She didn't win as many Grammys as you, but she's, she's big. Anyway, that's Lana Del Rey. And I love the cat underneath because he, the cat is three quarters in the shadows. I no. got it. Yes, you got Taylor. everyone good. Over Kitty. Over Kitty? Over Kitty. Nice. <laughs> Kitty, Kitty could become a theme in this Over episode. Kitty. Over Kitty. I like it. Do you have a title, Carlo? Couched and Crouched. Nice. Beautiful. Mm. Love it. Abby, anything even better? Uh, what was yours? Over Kitty. Over Kitty. How about Pussy like, Under? Pussy Under. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Can I buy it by Carlo <laughs> McCormick? Couched and Crouched for $20. I think I'm gonna just buy it. Just buy it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Got a lot of support. Thank you, Carlo. And speaking of females lying around, this one is dreaming of a De Chirico, uh scene of a train. Dreaming of a train. Yes, dreaming of a train. Just, 
just riding by. And there's a tower inspired by the Kiriko. Titles? Okay, what did you, oh, the music. Yeah, sorry. You're enjoying our, our <laughs> piano. It's so nice to play the Borscht Belt. Um, change between the cushions. Double so to get smart. Actually. Yeah? Abby, can you talk change between the cushions? <laughs> On that train and gone. Nice. And Bela Fleck. Under motion. Under motion? That's nice. That's, that's a really nice one. That's really good. I love it. Can Bela I buy Bela Under Bela Motion by Bela Fleck for $20? That's a winner. That's a winner. Okay, I'm going to buy it on this for $40. Good. That got almost complete. Okay. <laughs> And another woman lying around, this one is an angel, with golden wings looking into a golden mirror, perhaps giving a reference to Narcissus, right? Mm. Carla, you have another intriguing hat. What does it mean? Uh, you know, that. remember that guy Hayes? Yeah. So this is, I, I like this as a hat he did, but what kind of I like is that it was a commission project he did with New Era, which is like the big, you know, that every Major League Baseball hat is done by them. It's like they're the wow. ones who have the licensing for most sports teams. So, so it's sort of like my team. Like. <laughs> Excellent. Carlo, thank but you. But someone told me that this is a symbol for, it's like a Japanese character for like something pretty fucked up, someone told me. I can't remember. <laughs> I should, and, next and, time and I wear okay. it, I'll tell you. Well, I'll, know, I'll remember by then. Can you use some of your superpowers and special abilities to title mm, this painting. Yes. Uh, the sin that brings all angels down. Uh, deep. Ooh. Deep and poetic. He's getting deep and poetic on us, Abby. Can you counter that? Deeper. More poetic. Uh, Saint moi. <laughs> <laughs> It, the delivery has a lot to do with that title. <laughs> Bail of Black, can you top say? I'm not even going to try. But the, win the window home. Oh, oh nice. Oh, God, you're good. Profound. Good. <laughs> you're in Talk about the deep and poetic. It, nail it. This is going to be tough. Up. Let's start over here with Carla McCormick. Once again, your title? The Sin That Brings All Angels Down. The Sin That Brings All Angels Down. Is that worth $20? It's, it, it probably is, but New it York doesn't won, say It would have won, but so. something came up better. Abby Washburn, your title was? Saint Moi. Can I buy that for $20? Quite possibly, quite possibly, quite possibly. Can I buy The Window Home by... Uh, no, I'm going to buy Saint Moi by Abby Washburn. Thank there you. Okay. I never get Oh, we have a variation on a, 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 on a theme previously seen on this very... Well, can Episode. I, because she, when she first said she was about tangerines in yeah. the last one, I thought be, sitting next to a musician, she'd call it Tangerine Dream. So can I was we, expecting that too. Yeah. Is, yeah. is it too obvious or is it all right? Are, to, I think it's a good title. Are clearly grapefruits, aren't they? Or, oh, they're grapefruits? Never mind. Well, at least there's something bigger than tangerines, aren't they, Lisa? I don't know. Tangerines are tiny little and cute. Okay, all right. These are mind. huge. These are huge okay, spheres. All right, all right. They're okay. orange. These okay. are probably from California. Bela Fleck, I've you got a title. I have a title. Mine are bigger. Uh, I was going to go there, too. You could go there, too. Well, that's what the one on the floor is, is, is wondering why the other guy is but looking up there. Mine are bigger. It makes you think of the, the balls. Or yes. breasts. Any titles by Abby? A title by Abby. What was, your, what was your version of that? Well, my version was... Um, um, it was... Um, uh, <laughs> balls to the wall. Balls, balls on my mind. <laughs> can, panel, panel, panel. Can I try another, another tack? Love is an island. Nice. <laughs> Top that. Sentimental, uh, borderline schmaltzy. So oh fuck it. Fruit All of right. that fruit. How about Tropic of Melanoma? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Yes. 
by the warm waters. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, well, I guess oh. mine was really lame. How about Tropic of Melanoma? <laughs> that would be a hard one to sell, right? How yeah. about, um, I don't want to stick you with a title no one will buy. Oh, right. How about especially since I actually We're here to help you. Yeah, yes. Thank How about you. Beneath, beneath the Basketball Tree? <laughs> uh, back row. Orange Crush. Oh, that's good. Oh, like that's that. good. There we Can go. Can I buy there Orange Crush <laughs> that's so by good. the Interloper in the back row? Yes. $40. $40. Okay. I was just going to say that. Let's no. pass, pass the money back to her. Let's see if it gets there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there might be a fee on the way. <laughs> we have a woman sitting alone at a coffee table with a rose. Sitting with a rose in a Dicarico inspired environment. I got one. Got what is it, Carlo? My absent admirer. Oh, beautiful. And Absinthe? No, my absent admirer. Yeah, yeah okay. Got it. Abby. <laughs> Though absinthe would be good. You just I, need to put a green was... glass on there. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, sisterhood. Yeah, yeah, sisterhood. Genius. <laughs> what happened to... <laughs> Heidi. <laughs> what, what happened, happened to Bela Flack? You don't even know what we're talking about. Did you lose your name? <laughs> your, your name I'm still thinking about so the title. He's so famous he doesn't need a name tag. His name Jeez. just magically switched to Ashley huh. Sellett. <laughs> I did it? You bumped something. Ashley Sellett, do you have a title offer? Sellett. Sellett. White chocolate. White chocolate? <laughs> That's good. All right, can we vote? I think, I, I think mine was pretty you good. Think I don't know about theirs. Okay. <laughs> Could you just I, I don't understand theirs, but... Could you just re repeat yours again? Uh, my Absent Admirer. I like it. Let's see if New York likes it. Can I buy My Absent Admirer by Carla McCormick? Possibly, yes. And That's Abby, your one. title, your best title is... Yeah, yeah, Sisterhood. Yeah, yeah, Sisterhood by Abby Washington no. Fly. <laughs> Ashley Sellett. <laughs> Careful, that name could stick. Oh, Bela uh, Fleck. White Chocolate. What, what's yours? White chocolate. White chocolate. Can I buy white chocolate? No, I'm going to buy my absolute admirer. Thank you. Okay. Whoever can name this painting. Oh my god. Oh my god. That Look at it. That bears an ugly resemblance to my former self. This is Carla McCormick's former self. Back when I was self. a blue haired lady. And is that Walter on the right? Sure is. This is a reference to Walter Robinson. Who was a great painter of Pussycats. Great painter. Now, see, I painted this uh, way back in 1984. And an art dealer who has a gallery in uh, oh, Pennsylvania guy, yeah. bought it at an Aust Australian auction house. Wow. Sent it here because he wants it to have a subtitle. But first, what was the original title? The original title was The Critic's Kitty. It's a good title. <laughs> okay. Because there's a double meaning. There's a kitty here. The kitty also means uh, cash register, yeah. piggy bank. Yeah. And critics have money, but they can't use it because then they would expose. Oh, yeah. The fact that they've I wouldn't want everyone to know how much I get paid. Because, you know, Carlo, you should see, he has a vault full of herrings, Basquiat's, Walter Robinson's. <laughs> and uh, he can't let anyone know that. So that later in his life, he can yeah, take yeah. them out and sell them, right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they just all what, just presents, what I'm thinking. Right? I like to leave some legacy for my kid, but. <laughs> legacy for the kid. Okay, so this is a reference to the little kitten that Walter Robinson painted. Um, back in the 80s. So, but, and then Walter Robinson's very in, influential artist. There would be no Damien Hirst spin paintings without Walter Robinson. There would be no Lisa Payton without Walter Robinson. And there would be no which famous, reasonably famous German painter that shows at Hauser and Wirth Gallery, who's known for painting ironically kitsch 
paintings of kittens. Didn't even know it. about that. You didn't know about that? No. For twenty dollars, who can name that German painter? Eater. That's it. Martin Eater. Very good. Genius. How did you know? How did you guess that? Okay. How did you figure that out? You're just amazing. Now, for fifty dollars, what should we subtitle the painting to satisfy the art dealer in Pennsylvania? I'll try one. What would that be? I'm trying to jog my memory here. <laughs> yeah, remember when you had blue hair? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and green skin? Uh, how we did things before cell phones. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, that's what, that's the thing which dates it, right? We don't want to date the painting. It's historical. Yeah. Oh my Never mind. God. Okay. This, this dealer expects to you make get a fortune it. reselling this painting. Yeah, it did. Oh, that won't help. That won't help it. <laughs> Bela Fleck. <laughs> What's your best title for 50 almighty dollars? Feline greed. Oh, yeah. What a misogynist. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, do you have an even better title than feline greed? I like that I'm actually now. This is good. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it says Abby. Yeah. Just, but, you know, it's hot in here. You don't say, question mark. Oh, that's good. Oh, good. Oh. Carla likes it. And Carla, you're... Well, I'll come up with a better one since I got heckled on the last one. You got one. heckled, yeah, sorry. Portrait of the Critic as a Young Man. Ah, Ooh. nice. Little nice. Joycean. Now we're going to vote. Vote on her. Thank you. I think it's a Vote winner. on Abby's first. Abby, your title is? You don't say? You don't question say. Mark? Is that worth $50? <laughs> Uh, possibly, um, Bela Fleck. My other agent is ruthless. <laughs> My other agent is ruthless. <laughs> but you had another title. Uh, feline Greed. Feline Greed, is that worth $50? Uh, yeah, the other one's better. Uh, Abby's was even better, though. Carlo. Uh, Portrait of the Critic as a young man. Can I buy that for $50? No. That's gonna. I'm gonna buy that. For I think that's a winner. That's a good title. Oh my god! Okay. Oh, okay. I would have voted for that one. I know big money. Big money. I know. You're in the big money. There we go. There we go. So Abby, you since you're nuts. like rolling in the dough, and uh, <laughs> I hear you have other talents. Would it? Could this be a moment where you could share some of those with us over here? Yeah, we go. We'd love to. I think Perhaps we bought a with, song. with Bela Fleck. I'm going to play with the greatest, biggest Grammy winner of all time. <laughs> Which would be Bela Which Fleck. category? <laughs> what category are you guys More categories tonight? than any other musician. Uh, we're going to do uh, the Chinese bluegrass uh, category. Chinese bluegrass. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 